Well, here we are, Payday 2, and a bunch of other stuff I've uploaded on the channel. We finally hit 10k subs, and as I say during my Twitch streams, you don't have to sub, I really don't care. All I want to do is just get better at the game and stop making major mistakes, and eventually play better and help those for those that I can. Unfortunately, you guys decided to hit the sub button here on YouTube, and with all your guys' crazy stupid support on Twitch, and anything else like discord or any other messages or that kind of thing it's all appreciated so at the end of the day thank you very much um last time i did one of these videos it was more for me wanting to go variety but payday 2 still getting updates and uh here we are more updates and simply because i want to get more builds myself maybe optimize a couple of things and maybe provide something new for the player base as Overkill continues to keep buffing everything and making the game easier and easier and easier. Anyways, figured maybe we can do a, a Discord Q&A for those that are in the Discord. Um, lots of folks asked a ton of questions, so hopefully I have decent answers for all of them, or at least make this entertaining as I can. But um, yeah, I will say I will answer what I can, truthfully. Maybe. <laughs> there will be some disappointment, so be ready. Otherwise, let's get started. Also, in the background, just um, some generic gameplay. As uh, chat wanted to have some face cam during the piggy event. So, since I was bored of stealth and all this other stuff, sure, I put it on there and I managed to run a couple of DSOD runs with it. So, here's some for the background. And for those that just want the build, it's that AMR setup, and since this account didn't have the DLC for the Wasp, I just used the PAR, so go figure the build yourself, I don't really care. Anyways, let's get to the questions. When will you start watching Kamen Rider? Honestly, I don't watch stuff. I don't even watch movies, videos, shows, that kind of thing. People, like, say... Oh my god, you must watch anime because you have all these anime mods. No, I just, I only like them for the big titties and they look great. And all the other fantastic art that anime has to offer. So no, I don't know if I'm going to start watching other stuff. So, not my thing, I guess. Top five favorite shows or movies? Ah, well, crap. The only time I actually ever watched movies or shows was when I was younger and my parents grounded me. So at the time, um... It was 21, some blackjack movie, counting cards and that kind of thing. There was another movie called Wanted, where you curve the bullet and stuff. Those those were pretty good, I guess. I don't know. These things were like 20 years old. My friend got me to watch Gantz, some crazy game show or something like that. Um, also made me watch John Wick, which was pretty cool, I guess. And number five... Uh, again, I don't watch movies or videos, so I don't know. We'll just go with a school example. We watch Shrek. Yeah, everyone likes Shrek. Sure, why not? What music do you like? I mostly like electronic, drum and bass, anything to keep my head going. Or maybe a tiny bit of dubstep. I don't know. I just like things that are just really catchy. Top five songs? Top five of what? Payday song? Games? Other songs? I don't know. We'll stick with games. For Disgaea, I really enjoy Sparkling. For Doom Eternal, Meat Hook is probably my favorite. For the Neptunia series, I'd have to go with Solid Park. And with Hotline Miami 2, New Wave Hookers, definitely my favorite. And if we wanted to include Payday 2, can't go wrong with Evil Eye. Definitely the best. Kev VTuber when? Honestly, I need an artist. And I'm okay to pay for one, and then I need somebody to rig that picture to a model and then i gotta go on vtube studio i think steam has it and hopefully it's okay for licensing for streaming but basically what i want to have is some deepen like succubus with nisa or etna elements and yeah i totally do it but it's just i gotta figure out the rules and all the other how to do it best way to hide a body yeah pretty simple If you don't want to answer that, face cam VTuber debut when? Or never. Um, well, 
I don't mind doing face cam now and again, but I just don't feel like it's important. But as for the VTuber stuff, yeah, I already said it. Why is your voice so sexy, Kev? Honestly, I don't think it is. It's just normal. Even previous YouTube comments say otherwise. Some people like it, some people don't. So it's up to them at the end of the day. Kev voice pack one? Uh, no. Modding in this game is hell, and there's nothing interesting I say. Except for Rifleman, I guess. Is Michael in witness protection? What the? D I have no idea what this means, so sorry. As a Canadian. Favorite cereal? I'll go with Nesquik. How to get laid? I mean, eggs? I guess? Hell if I know. Why would Nepgear be better than Neptune? Well, good question. Mark II is the first Neptunia game I played, and it's probably the best in the series. Nepgear as a character has better growth than any of the other Neptunia characters in the series, and has the most devastating Dark Conquest ending for those Neptunia fans. Also, her skill set is much better overall compared to Neptune in all of the games. So, at the end of the day, she's better looking, she has bigger boobs, is smarter into hardware components as a character herself, and yes, I do have a nice sexy figurine of her. And, well, it's just nice to look at. Are we ever gonna get a Kevkill cover up break the rules? <sighs> Hang on, I'm gonna take a deep breath here and get ready. All right, three, two, one. No. To compliment that question above, are we gonna get a do a do a a do with carrot? Basically, um, no. <laughs> I don't like singing. Again, I don't do this for fun. I just want to get good. And my singing is horrible. No, it's probably too deep, and it's not anime cute like. Eh, eh. And to be frank, Break the Rules is just not one of my things, I guess. It's a decent song, but it's just... I prefer other music in Payday too. I'll turn it off for chat to listen to, but I just don't care. How many SFW tapestries do you have compared to the ones you can't show? Um, I'd say about 15% of them are presentable. So like no nipples or private parts showing and at least still looks pretty good. Relative clothing, per se. And for the record, I have over 400 tapestries. I have Canadian Tire Mastercraft bins full of these things, all labeled and ready to go. Will we ever have a tapestry giveaway? No, because this to me is a little bit complicated because then I got to get the address of somebody and then I got to expose my address, which I've accidentally done on stream a couple times, re. Um, after that, then we gotta go ship it, which can get seriously costly, depending where you are. And then where I'm from, and then is it gonna be shipped correctly? I don't know, there's too much security components that kind of have me worried. And, I don't know. It sounds really complicated. It might be more simple than I think, but I've never done it before, so I don't want to take that risk. How much money have you spent on anime stuff? Frick. I've lost count, so I'm gonna take a guess, and I'd say about forty to fifty thousand dollars Canadian worth. And yeah, the shit can get pretty expensive, but the art is just damn good to look at. Will you be proud of me of getting a good gaming PC? To be honest, I only say this because people sub and I don't know why. Yourself comes first at the end of the day. Spend your money for yourself. The world is pretty expensive, and if you save money for better things like an SSD hard drive, or an RTX graphics card, something that you can make for a better gaming PC, yeah, go ahead and do it. Because subs can get expensive, especially after doing this for many years. Yikes. What games other than Payday do you like? Honestly, anything that kind of interests me. Majority of the stuff is like first person shooter, like Call of Duty, Doom, or just any boomer shooter as they call it. Otherwise, I still play the casual stuff, Disgaea, Neptunia, RPG stuff, things along those lines. Do you have a favorite game other than Payday? Not really. I just play what I want to play, shoot things in the face and go. However, I will say, I wish this world had more Quake-based shooters. The one that I've been playing recently, lately, I don't know, is Toxic. It's pretty good. How'd you first get introduced to gaming and what aspect of it got you hooked in? Well, I have to say, my parents gave me a controller when I was very, very young. 
It was Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It was easier to clean up than toys, I guess. Just wrap up the controller and put it away. Wow, there's eight hours of my day. And since my dad played video games too, I wanted to be competitive. I wanted to be better than him. So I kept playing to win. What inspired you to start streaming on Twitch? I played games for many years, but the internet that we have here is pretty crap. So basically I have to pay to stream and that's fine. I have an okay job for now. Otherwise, it's mostly due to VOD reviews because in Payday 2, I just wanted to get better at the game. And doing VOD reviews and slowly rechecking myself, thinking, oh, maybe I should do this instead, it has helped a lot. The biggest reason why I wanted to stream, or at least do video YouTube kind of stuff, is because like, oh my god, I can get an epic kill feed or some epic snipes or some cool freaking moments, but I, I don't think I'm cut out for that. When will you do a 24-hour Kovac stream? <laughs> oh, shit. Any new game releases for streaming? Honestly, no. I don't pre-order games, and neither of you guys should as well, because nowadays games are generally crap when you get pre-ordered. So I prefer to wait things on sale, maybe a bit of reviews, and that means I have more time to play or replay other games at the meantime. What does your fridge look like? Well, I still live with my parents, so here you go. Oh, you wanna see what's inside? <laughs> 20K. What is your favorite and least favorite part of Canada? Honestly, I'm just happy to order hentai. The customs suck for every border international arrival, but it's not like a total ban of China or Australia. But yes, the worst part about Canada is everything is expensive. And I mean like everything from gas to groceries to housing to finances to repairs to buying anything, food. It's just crap. And it's not even the best or great quality either. We get commercials on TV. Oh yeah, you get Canadian this, Canadian grown that, Canadian quality this. It's like bullshit. Beans? Coffee? I like coffee. Hell yeah, let's go. How are you alive? That's a good question, considering my gamer tag is Kev Killed. So who's killed? Is it me or is it them? I don't know. One of the two. What do you do to get around frustration when things aren't right? Yes, I am a very angry person. The biggest, angriest mother trucker of them all. I'm an easily short-fused person. I will admit I do have anger management issues. I've gotten better in the years. Younger, I have put holes in the walls. I have broken a lot of things. Even punched a TV that the back of the TV made a mark on the wall. But nowadays I just yell something like fuck you or whatever, or the occasional death slam. I'm just very competitive and I get focused and I just let out a very short fuse, but I'm I get calm pretty quickly, so I guess that's a positive. The worst, oh boy, was playing a game called Mabinogi. It's an RPG, Korean, pay to win, blah, 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 whatever. North American servers were shit. So they had this thing called skill Dan testing, and you basically had to complete it. it. There was a bit of RNG involved, but the way everything in the game, even doing a simple attack, was all server-sided. And if you were farther from those servers, you have a less advantage. And there's PvP in the game too. Not the best, but whatever. So basically put, you could essentially do less damage as opposed to living to somebody closer to the servers for the game. Anyways, lag in the game screwed players, including me. And so I tried and struggled for hours and days to complete this Dan testing skill for archery. And I just couldn't do it. I got so mad and came very close a couple times and it just failed because RNG or some stupid stuff. Anyways, I went outside, screamed bloody fucking loud. Neighbors looked at me weird through their windows and I just started punching rocks just to let out my anger. My parents asked if I was okay and I just said, I'm venting my anger. So, <sighs> that's one thing I'll be proud of. I don't put my anger on others, mostly myself, so. I can't really blame another person for my own actions. So, kind of a neat little backstory, I guess. But yes, I'm a very angry person. I get pissed off pretty easily, but I can't take it out on others. Do you want to marry me? I... <sighs> if you could snap your fingers and set your YouTube or Twitch subscriber count to any number, what would it be? Honestly, 
That's a terrible whatever answer I give. I'd say for YouTube, it'd be neat. Maybe I could go for 100k. But I'm just so small and puny and I still have a full-time job and I don't have big titties to show off, so I don't think I'm ever going to get there anyways. And as for Twitch subs, I'm just happy where they are right now. I would say I would do some sort of schoolgirl outfit or maybe a maid outfit stream that everybody wants once I hit partner, but pff, that's never happening, so I don't have to worry about that. So on to the payday section. I guess the big one that everybody wants to talk about is, will payday three be the game you'll be focusing on stream when it comes out? I will say this, I've been through the future. There's no death sentence one down in payday three. So probably not. I really doubt folks are gonna watch me for it. So the only reason why I made stuff for payday two is because I struggled and I wanted to basically get good and provide guides or some help for others. So if this game has the same kind of scenario, perhaps, but probably not. Is Twitch actually canically, can, is Twitch actually dead? You think I know lore? Honestly, there's multiple Twitch, even in the same spot for certain heists. So he's just clones and clones and clones and clones. If you were given one choice to change in Payday 2, make the fucking cops consistent. Random spawns are fine due to their RNG spawn groups. Cool. But some days cops react so slow, I can take five seconds to shoot them in the face. And some other days they are so fast, they are more hyper than a G-fueled hyena. Why do I suck goddamn hard on DSOD? Honestly, it's just game sense, practice, knowing spawn locations, subjective rotations, etc. It's just time. And if you're using that time wisely, there you go. Even I still make fuck ups. Will you make a video about no try it tea? Is that Roblox Payday? Sorry, <laughs> not a chance. If I didn't play Payday 2, where would I be? Probably buying twice as much anime stuff, wasting my money. Or something I've always said, I've always wanted to be in a relationship. Otherwise, I'd probably be doing more exercise or gym stuff or just playing other games. What makes you enjoy Payday 2? Clicking heads. That's the only thing I love doing. Otherwise, people want builds, so here you go. Build? What was your favorite build out of the entire Steam Guides? Obviously, the one with biggest boobs for the Neptunia last models. But seriously, probably be my anarchist sniper zerk because it has everything. And with this build having everything like an Inspire, Joker, Night Lies, Berserk, Grits, all that AoE stuff that you could ever ask for, it's good. And if you miss too many shots, well, you're dead because that's how anarchist works. So it provides a decent amount of challenge, but it's still ridiculously OP where I could carry pubs indefinitely. How would I address the large useless amount of weapons in the game? It doesn't bother me. I just look for what works and away we go. Cause Overkill likes doing their own thing. Even community moderator Dan reached out to us for suggestions and not a lot was taken. Remember that beta for the update 200 or 202? Oh frick, I don't even know. And we did all that video stuff. Yeah, it's like, who even cares? Our inputs are nothing compared to what, I don't know, overkill mayhem difficulty player base has to say. So despite making a huge spreadsheet, I don't think they give a shit. So why should we? What inspired you to get into DSOD? I just needed them achievements. Back in the day, I used to get them with hacker, rogue, and relied on sneaky bastard dodge just to get me through heist and just hit w and a lot of other people said this back in the day as well so i just wanted a better way and so the best way is just shoot cops wow how would you nerf free work leech well that's a very good question and to be honest we all know the answer Overkill needed a kingpin replacement because of their licensing for a character, not the perk deck, so I don't know why they couldn't just sell it standalone. So, first up, remove the messiah and the swan sawing effect. Remove the 200 damage part where it removes two chunks or segments, so any damage results in one chunk. Keep it consistent. Change the duration from 10 seconds to 6 seconds to keep it similar to kingpin. No team heal upon damage aspect either, because that shit is just ridiculously OP. 
reintroduce armor back into the deck when you hit that ampule, similar to Kingpin. Why? Because then you can introduce bowl gates and start teaching the player to say, hey, hit your headshots while you're doing your injector or amp or any other perk deck. Keep the killing two enemies to restore a chunk of health and the invulnerability part, no issue. And at least to keep it fun, anytime you use the ampule, you have 100% healing, so you're back to full. So in this case, it's very similar to Kingpin. You can still keep the heat off your team, but you can't be out for too long, otherwise you're gonna die. Again, remove the Messiah Swan Song effect. And it's not as terrible, say, if there's a green dozer, every enemy is a threat. So you can help your team by pushing aggressively, being out in the open for a little bit more, and you can learn to bullgate, so when you take too much damage, you can headshot and save yourself some damage. And at least this way is not being overly strong or overly OP, but may not be the best suggestions that I have, but at least it's a start, and there's a bit of fun to it, so. Favorite heist objective? The diamond. For the puzzle part, reaching the diamond. Because I love succeeding every time I press it, but it always saddens me when I see a dumbass run over the tiles for no fucking reason. Piss off my lawn, you young punk. Mods such as Carry Stacker, Silent Assassin, or stuff like, you mean, cheats? But if they were tailored within the game, would I still be against using them? Well, Silent Assassin would be a good choice for a mutator, and if it doesn't affect achievements, well, cool, I guess. Carry Stacker would definitely need more balance. I would say carrying two bags is fine without the use of your primary weapon or secondary, so you're just walking two bags and you're going to take bullets. Maybe that's an idea. Otherwise, I mean, the community is just going to find a way around it anyways and justify it. And I'm not even going to fight it. It's just a losing uphill battle with how many lazy fuckers play with that shit. It's just stupid. If there's one thing you could change within the Payday 2 community in general, well, probably the best question here. And I think the best answer is we need more interaction from the devs and the community managers. Remember that beta where we all participated and the Google Forms was so crap that even if you had an infamy over 100, they still said no? <laughs> even my 24 hours of streaming the beta, it's like, what feedback did we get? What changes actually went through? Where was the improvement? Where was the in-between choices between players and devs? Nothing. If there was more interaction, people would talk more between the people who are making the game, between folks that are doing what they can. This would solve balancing. This would solve discussions. This would solve mods. This would also solve cheats and basically anything else above because they have more of the power and the influence to change things in the first place. So we need more interaction with the higher ups. Having a streaming career basically from Payday 2, does it bother you that you're not able to stream Payday 2 anymore? Well, to be honest, I don't mind streaming other games. It's just if I have nothing else better to do, sure, I'll just play Payday 2 because that's what everybody does. But if I got stuff on my mind that I want to do or take care of, hell yeah, I'm going to get that done. I don't give a shit. I don't do this for the views. I don't do this for the subs. I don't do this for whatever. I just want to get good. That's it. Doesn't bother me. When did I start playing Payday? It was back in February 2019. It was like the beginning of Death Sentence 1 Down and Introduction to Grays. I think that's where the timeline was. Anyways, it was a February Chinese New Year sale on Steam. I saw Cyrano TV play it. So I'm just like, well, he's bad at the game for it. How hard is this game? Because, you know, I saw him struggle and I felt kind of wondering. <laughs> he's a speedrunner that does FPS. Could it be that hard? Well, now here I am. Anyways, that's all the questions that people wanted to hear, I guess. I could probably do more of this in the future, but as for YouTube comments, I typically reply to them right away. And even if you want a dumb question here, I guess I can reply as well. I think that would be fair for me to say. Otherwise, thank you again for all the 10k subs and any other Twitch viewership and any other generic questions or help that you guys need, I'm happy to answer any and all. As long as it's not ridiculously memey, otherwise I can give you a meme response. XD. I don't know, I'm too old for this. <laughs>
But at the end of the day, thank you all very much for clicking that funny red button on YouTube. And if you want to chat online on any of Twitch streams, or if you got any more payday related questions or other funny questions, sure, hit me up. I'd be happy to answer. Anyways, like always, I'll see you next time. Well, 481 kills, and like I said, I clutched that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Better, better than a wipe.